So my student, Kanisha, said, Hi, Alicia. I hope all is well. I want to get into the business of cu custom printed graphic t-shirts and print on demand. I was doing some research. I came across some platforms, but I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with it. Are you familiar with it? I reply back. I'm like, familiar, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> And then I just respond back and say, you know, let me find someone, let me find an expert. And she says, wow, thank you so much. And so guess what? Today is the day where Kanisha's dream come, dreams come true because I found her an expert on print on demand and Etsy. How many of you have been looking for someone to also do the same, teach you about print on demand and Etsy? Anybody else here ever been interested in, okay, like everybody just say me in the chat box so our special guest Nigel can see if you have been interested in print on demand a lot of you have said you've been interested in an Etsy store as well like how do you open an Etsy store what can you put in it that's the least amount of work because most of you guys on here do not make custom stuff from home that you can sell on Etsy correct Correct. Yes. So, but you definitely want to take advantage of it. And I love that Nigel is teaching us about Etsy because Etsy, as opposed to like Shopify or, or, you know, building a site on WordPress, like WooCommerce or building a site on um, Squarespace, Etsy already has a ton of traffic. And that's what you always want to be. You want to be on the platforms that have a ton of traffic. So for you guys that are freelancers, I'm always telling you to go on Fiverr and Upwork because they have a ton of traffic on those sites. So jump in front of where the traffic is. Does that make sense? If it does, give me a five for a high five in the chat. So let me tell you a little bit about our expert and I say expert who's coming on today. His name is Nigel and he's an internet business school um well, his company is called Internet Business School. He's been making a living on the internet for over 16 years. He started online with an eBay shop in the early days, which Lorette and I did as well. Anybody else here? <laughs> Give me eBay. Type eBay in the chat if you started off with an eBay shop. We started off with an eBay shop. It was so much fun. Um, and so did Nigel. And he said he expanded into several businesses after adding Etsy to his portfolio of businesses several years ago and using his background in marketing, he soon discovered the benefits of using Etsy to build successful businesses and more importantly, how to grow and create a brand. Nigel specializes in print on demand because he believes it offers quicker results for a higher profit and less work than most traditional businesses. He is a business mentor as well as a business coach for online entrepreneurs. Nigel, um, uh, let's see. I just want to add something else. Nigel, I think it was his wife. I wanted to check for that, but I think it's his wife who like introduced him to print on demand. <laughs> and, you know, Nigel really considers that the best money making opportunity out there is print on demand and tying it in with an Etsy store. You might've heard about print on demand and wondered what it is or how you can get started with it. Or maybe you thought it was too complicated, but he's really going to break it down for us. And he'll explain exactly how you can set up a print on demand business quickly and easily with almost zero setup cost. And more importantly, he'll tell you the secret to making money on Etsy. <laughs> so I know that you are excited for this presentation. We have hunted for an expert. Thank you so much to those of you who have asked us to teach about an Etsy shop and print on demand. Um, if that was you, I just wanted to say thank you. And I know everybody here will thank you as well. And so what I want to do now is I want to turn it over to our special guest, Nigel. So give me about 30 seconds. I am going to uh, transfer over the presenter to him so he can show his screen. And then I'm going to start the recording and then Nigel will start. So if you guys are excited while I'm doing this, I would like for you just to say, Welcome, Nigel, in the chat box because he can see it. N-I-G-E-L, yes, yes. So say welcome, Nigel, in the chat box. Let's give him a shout out. Go, 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 go. All right, give me a second. Turning over presenter controls and going to start the recording in about 30 seconds. 
Thank you so much, Alicia. What an introduction. Uh, so I've got to live up to that, haven't I? Um, thanks very much, everyone, for the comments in the chat. It's really great to be here. Uh, hopefully you can all see my screen. Perhaps you can let me know in the chat in case you're, you're looking at a picture of me, which is not what you want. OK, right. OK, well, let's get going. Brilliant. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, everyone. Got it. Let's, uh, if I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry if I'm not. Brilliant. OK, right. Uh, so uh, print on demand. Um, so I'm going to take you through it. Thank you, Charlotte. Welcome. It's very kind. Um, Something I really get excited about, um, and as you can tell, Alicia uh, got very excited about it as well. It's something I've done for a long time. Um, it's something I love um, for two main reasons, really. One is because it's so much fun to do. I just love doing it. Um, and at the end of the day, it makes me a lot of money and it can do the same for you. Um, so let me take you through. I'll very quickly give you a, an overview of what we're going to cover and then we'll we'll dive right in. So we're going to look at what print on demand is. Um, I know a lot of you have heard of it or maybe have a vague idea um, what it's about. Uh, nothing to do with printed books or ebooks as uh, as a lot of people think. Um, so we'll, I'll explain exactly what it is as we go through. Um, I'm going to look at why Etsy is the best marketplace for it. Um, there's a couple of really good reasons why Etsy is, is such a brilliant place to be selling print on demand. So I'm, I'm going to explain that. Um, what I'm going to teach you today is um, you could take this and you could use it to sell print on demand on any marketplace. OK. Um, and, you know, as you get bigger, you might want to expand onto lots of other marketplaces. But there's some very good reasons why you want to start on Etsy rather than anywhere else, probably rather than any of the places you might have initially thought of. So, so we're, we're going to look at that um, and we're going to look at basically what you've got to do to build a successful Etsy print on demand shop, um, because there's a lot of people out there. I get people approach me all the time and. And they think that you can just, um, you know, create a few products and put them in a shop and you'll miraculously make a lot of money. Well, uh, unfortunately, it's not that simple. It is simple when you know how. OK, um, but it's knowing everything that you've got to do to get your shop built correctly so that it's going to convert and so that people are going to find it. So we're going to go through all of that. So what is print on demand? OK, so I like to describe it like this really. Um, I've had shops, as you'll find out in a minute when I tell you a little bit about myself, but I've had shops and I would never now go back and have a physical shop because the opportunities are there or, or they're all there online. You really don't need a shop and you really don't want one because of the, the costs and everything else. Um, but if you imagine that um, I said to you, I've got a shop um, and I'm going to fill it with inventory, unique inventory that nobody else has got. I don't want you to pay for any of that inventory and, and, until you sell it. I'm not going to charge you any rent, any rates. Uh, there's no risk. Um, and not only that, it's just, you know, it's on not your local main street, but every main street in the world. And that's the way I like to think of print on demand. Um, so let me explain a little bit more. Um, about how it works, and then we'll go into all the advantages of, of, of why you really should be doing it. Um, by the way, if you want to pop questions in, by all means do. I'll try and um, pick some of them up as we go along, but um, don't worry if I miss them or anything else. I will. I'll take any questions at the end, so don't think I'm ignoring you, um, because sometimes I can get bogged down with lots of questions, and I, I do like to talk a lot, as you're probably already finding out. Uh, okay, um, so. This is the way the system works, basically. So you you produce your designs, your print on demand designs, and you put them in your Etsy shop and your buyers will come along and they'll go into your shop and they'll say, oh, I really like that. I want to buy it. Um, and they will uh, place their order and they will pay Etsy. As with all of these platforms, you know how it works. You pay Etsy or eBay or Amazon. You don't pay the seller direct and they in turn pay you. So they'll go on, they'll say, yes, I want I want this product of yours. Uh, they'll order it and pay for it. Now, this is where the first piece of magic happens because 
what you will do, as I'll explain, is you find a print-on-demand manufacturer and you will link them directly to your Etsy shop. It's very easy to do, um, so, so don't worry about that. And instead of, um, there's a process to this, so instead of, um, instead of uploading your listings onto Etsy, you upload your listings onto the manufacturer's site and they will send them all, they all get sent from there across to Etsy. But the magic thing here is that when you sell something, Etsy will send all the information direct to your manufacturer. They'll tell them who's bought it, where it's got to be delivered to, what it is. Um, so you don't have to do anything at all at this stage. It's all automated, okay? The Etsy will in the meantime pay you. You'll usually get your money uh, the next day um, straight into your bank account but you don't have to pay the manufacturer for anything until you've actually sold it, okay? Um, so what will generally happen um, is you'll get an email from Etsy saying, congratulations, you've sold this item. You'll get, shortly afterwards, you'll get a, a, an email from the manufacturer saying, we've received your order, this is the details. And then another one straight after that. Um, when you're starting out, it may well say, please, can you pay for it? Obviously, um, in my case, I'm selling lots and lots of products, so I can't be going on and paying for items all, all day long. Um, I'd, I'd be doing nothing else. So what you can do, and this is what you'll want to do once you get going, is you can put your account with the manufacturer in, in, in credit. You can put a little bit of money in there. Um, hasn't got to be a huge amount to start with, entirely up to you. But in that case, what you'll do is you'll get an email from the manufacturer saying, uh, thanks, uh, you've paid for your item, um, and that is, so So this is where the process is, is totally automated. So from the buyer placing their order, everything goes from Etsy to the manufacturer, and it's all paid for, sorted. So what happens then is that the manufacturer will make your item, uh, they will then pack it and ship it off to your customer, and it's delivered direct to your customer. It works a bit like drop shipping, but with none of the disadvantages, uh, you never see your item. You never have to see it, okay? It is all fully automated. So it's a brilliant system, um, and it, that's one of the reasons I love it. My, my phone just goes, ping, you've sold this, it's been paid for, and then shortly afterwards, or you know, usually within a couple of days, uh, absolute maximum, you'll get a message saying it's been made, it's been shipped. Um, at the moment, most things are going the same day. It can be that quick. Okay, so let's look at the advantages. Uh, my my uh, guess is you've already worked out some of them. So you haven't got to buy any inventory, okay? You simply um, design your own products, which I'll come on to in a minute. So you don't need a website. You don't need um, any payment processing system because Etsy will take all of the money for you. You don't need to drive any traffic, which I'll explain to you in a minute, because as Alicia said earlier on, uh, for those of you that are on early, you know that Etsy is, uh, has got a massive uh, audience of buyers waiting for you. They're already there. Um, so basically your items are drop shipped. Now on Etsy, um, they don't allow standard drop shipping. Um, what they specify is that in order to drop ship something, you need to have had some part in either making it or designing it. And this is where print on demand uh, can really work on Etsy because you're designing it, okay? And don't worry about that. It's so, so easy, okay? Um, so uh, the beauty of this, of course, if you look at, um, I don't know if any of you have done drop shipping or, or looked at it, um, but you probably know that the majority of people get their products from China uh, on Alibaba. Um, and the thing is there that you're competing with lots of other people who are selling the same product. With print on demand, your products are all unique. So there's nobody to directly compete with. If somebody wants your product, they've got to buy it from you. And not only that, if you look at, I don't know if you've noticed on eBay, um, what's happening now is that the Chinese manufacturers are listing the items themselves direct onto eBay, um, usually at around about the price that you have to pay for it anyway. So, um, you know, drop shipping is, is losing a lot of its attraction. Um, it's not something I've ever particularly liked because I don't like 
you know the time it can take for things to arrive from china the 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 risk of the you don't know what the quality is like unless you buy it first and i don't know about you but i never want to sell anything that i'm not really really happy with okay um so i'm i'm very very keen on that um so um there's a question about shipping i'll come on to shipping a bit later if i don't answer all your questions then as i say get back to me later um so the beauty of this is because your items are unique um that you can ask a little bit more if you want to now i, I don't you know i don't expect people to go silly with a price you need to put it in, in a sensible price bracket but because your item's unique you can ask a little bit more and i'll, I'll give you an example of that as we go through um it's just you've got a bit more control there over what you can charge for your item now the other thing is that you can have unlimited items um, if you had a physical shop which i have i've had several many many years ago um, and i would be restricted by how many items i could put in my shop because you've only got so much money to spend on stock haven't you let's be quite honest you know and you might have to buy um 12 24 50 100 of an item that's tying up a lot of money um so the other thing is that if you're if you're working online you know you you've got you and you're selling online you you've got to store this stuff somewhere you know I, in the past i was renting garages and and all sorts of things for storing stuff and uh, i'm probably filling up the spare room as well <laughs> which doesn't make me popular um so you can have unlimited items because you're not paying for them unless they sell, okay? Now, um, the other thing is your, your only cost at this stage is the cost of listing the item on Etsy. Now I'll take you through the costs as we go through, but you're talking 20 cents per item, okay? Um, so if, if it doesn't sell, all you've lost is 20 cents. So what's to stop you putting hundreds of items on if you want to? And, and in the same way, you can see what I've put there. You know, you can test something to see if it sells. Um, if it doesn't sell, it's cost you 20 cents. It does. It really doesn't matter. Um, as opposed to, you know, the traditional model where you're paying for stock. And uh, we don't want any more of that nowadays. I don't I don't do that. <laughs> OK, um, so you can have unique products. OK, as I mentioned, everything is unique. And you also have the ability to personalize um, each product. Now you do, if you're offering personalized products, um, you do actually have to uh, add the name in and send it to the manufacturer. But So there's a there's that little extra stage, you have actually got to do something if you're personalizing things. But do you know that the, the ability to personalize something is absolutely massive. Um, you know, you can see their report linker, uh, predicts that the personalized gift market is going to grow by 11.19 billion in just the next uh, two to three years. It's absolutely staggering. Um, and Forbes magazine, actually, um, they did a survey a while back and they found that um, a third of all people would prefer to find a personalized item. Um, and the main reason for that is, you know, if, if you have an item personalized and you're giving it as a gift, you're really saying to somebody, hey, you know, uh, I've gone out of my way. I've made this specially for you. In actual fact, they haven't got to do anything. They've got to type in the, the name or whatever they want on it when, when they order the product. But it, to the person receiving it, it seems as though they've gone above and beyond. Um, and so personalization is, is, is really a massive thing. You haven't got to do it entirely up to you, but it's just another thing you can do to, to get even more sales in. Um, now you can link direct to Etsy, as I explained um, just now, uh, so you don't pack or ship anything. It literally is the whole process can be completely automated. Um, and, you know, I remember those days when I was, um, as Alicia said, I started on eBay, as I'll, as I'll tell you. And, you know, I was um, packing things all over the place and, and it was costing me a fortune for the, for the boxes and all the packing materials not to mention all the work, um, you don't do any of that. And making sure that something arrives safe as well. This is another big advantage with print on demand that if something gets broken or something gets lost, and it's it's not very often, it really, it, it really is quite rare, but we all know it happens. Um, you're not responsible for it. The manufacturer has packed and shipped it. 
they're responsible for it. So if something gets damaged or lost, you simply say to them, look, you know, this is what's happened and they'll send out a replacement, at no cost to yourself, okay? You know, I remember sending, you know, sending things I'd sold on uh, the likes of eBay and packing a really expensive item and uh, thinking, oh, this has got to get there in one piece because I'm going to lose a lot of money if it doesn't. There's none of that. There's none of that at all. So, you know, that, that, that's another aspect that, that I love about it. So I'm going to very, very quickly talk about me. Um, not be, you're not interested in me, so I'm going to go through this really quickly. Um, but I worked in advertising um, and marketing, and this was back in the 80s, uh, showing my age here. <laughs> um, OK, but I uh, and I started at the bottom and I worked my way up to a, a senior management position. And a, a lot of people would have stayed there for their entire careers. But I I'd always wanted my own business. So I decided to set up a shop, okay, and which turned into shops. Um, but, you know, it just, there was all this commitment all the time. I was working 14 hours a day uh, and it just wasn't, it just wasn't great. So I looked at eBay and this is back in the real early days when people were still saying, you know, I've heard of eBay, what is it? Um, which is hard to remember now, isn't it? And uh, we had some very, very successful businesses on eBay selling everything under the sun, just an incredible array, array of different things. And then, um, as, as Amicia mentioned earlier on, um, my wife said to me one day, she said, well, why don't we try selling on Etsy? And I said, Etsy? No, I, I said, that's no, no, complete waste of time. It's just a small platform and it's mainly for craftspeople. And, and if, if you're like me, um, you know, you 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 imagine lots of little old ladies knitting blankets and and the likes, you know, <laughs> and that was the way I envisaged it. Um, but for the sake of domestic harmony, I promised to look into Etsy, uh, and that was the beginning of, of of the next stage. To be quite honest, because we we just discovered that Etsy was fantastic, and and I've now long gone selling on eBay. I don't I don't sell on eBay now. Etsy is really, really where you want to be, as I'll explain as we go through. So um, Alicia mentioned some of this. I'm an Etsy business coach, uh, a print on demand specialist. I'm also a business and mindset coach and mentor. So I have all my own students in other forms of Internet uh, business because I've done a lot of them. Um, I also work with Simon Coulson at the Internet Business School. Um, you may or may not be familiar with it. He, he is quite well known in uh, certain parts of the states, um, but here in the UK, it's the biggest online training um, platform uh, for anything internet related. Um, I also coach for um, a program called Serious About Success, which is helping people set up businesses online uh, and also helping them with mindset and all that side of it. But, you know, I don't just um, I don't just do training for people or sell courses. I actually do what I teach. So, you know, I'll sit down in the evening and I'll be uh, sat there in the chair and I'll be designing something to go into my my shop on Etsy. I, you know, it, it's it's something I'm doing all the time. Um, so, Lil saying, why is Etsy better than eBay? I will come on to that, Lil. Don't worry. I'll explain exactly. Um, so. Uh, this was very exciting. This was me on stage at the weekend. I just wanted to show you this. Um, you know, we're back. So live events are back. Um, this was me uh, at the Digital Business Boot Camp speaking on stage in London just this weekend, the first event since lockdown, uh, talking alongside people like Paul O'Mahony there, uh, Simon Coulson, uh, Staz Prokofiev, if you've heard of him, he's another another big speaker and many, many more. So it was so exciting to actually be back on stage. Um, but, I ha you know, maybe the state soon, but at the moment you're having to listen to me online, uh, which is almost as good. So just to give you some idea of, of what you can do. Um, now, this is one of my Etsy shops. Now, I have several Etsy shops, OK? So this one you can see has uh, taken nearly $60,000. But I'm not just going to show you the, the bigger performing shots, because as I said, I've got several. So this one, when I did this screenshot, um, this one had taken uh, about $11,000 in the first nine months. 
Um, and this one, I'm going to show you another smaller one, okay? Uh, I say a smaller one. This was done as a bit of a challenge to prove what can be done. Um, and this was a print-on-demand shop just selling mugs, okay? So in 18 weeks from a standing start, and you probably know that with any sort of e-commerce business, it builds up gradually, uh, and then it starts to snowball the bigger you get. But just in 18 weeks, uh, this one had been built, had taken uh, around $8,000. Um, but not only that, it was ranked in the uh, top 8.5% of shops on Etsy for sales performance. And every single one of my shops is in the top 10%. The interesting thing here, you can see if you look at the conversion rate, 4.1%. Uh, is very, very high. And the techniques I use um, show people exactly how to do this. The average conversion rate on Etsy is between one and 2%. So that kind of gives you some idea. Um, if you know what you're doing, you know what you can achieve. So what can you sell? Well, this was um, the top selling products from last year. So you can see this yourself. There's no point in me reading it all out. T-shirts was the biggest selling item, uh, followed by mugs. Um, you know, there's a, there's, there are so many items that you can sell um, on print on demand items you can sell, and I'll come on to that shortly. Um, so what should you sell? Now, it's entirely up to you where you start, okay? If you have a burning desire to start with T-shirts, great, go for it. Um, personally, the product I recommend is mugs. And there's there's um, a very good reason for that. Um, one is that they make great gifts, as you can see I've put there. So why do they make great gifts? Well, you can personalize them for a start. Um, they're relatively inexpensive, which might bring you to say, well, how can you, how can you make a lot of money from uh, just selling mugs? And I'll show you in a minute. Um, they're easy to produce everything. Once you know the techniques, there isn't really a print on demand product that's difficult to produce. There really isn't. Um, it, is, it is very, very simple. Um, but the, the, you know, there's a couple of key points here. There are good profit margins. I can make more money on a mug than a lot of people make on a t-shirt, okay? Uh, and if you think about it, you're probably going to sell an awful lot more mugs than you are T-shirts because they're a lower priced item. But the thing is that you will just sell, you know, crazy. You can sell crazy volumes of mugs um, because people will, well, you know, they buy them for themselves. But a lot of them are for gifts. So it'll be for birthdays, uh, for, for Christmas. You know, if somebody's leaving work, you could get them a mug, you know. Um, always something relevant on them, relevant to what they're doing. Um, so I put a question in there, how many mugs, how many mugs have you got? Let's see how many mugs um, people have got. Give me an idea in the chat, just a rough idea. I don't want you to go and go and count them all. <laughs> how many mugs have we all got? Let's see who's got the most. Pop it in the chat and we'll have a look. Uh, Mary's got 12, okay. That's, yeah, that's probably around about the average. Gloria's got six, um, Sharon t at least 20, uh, Aisha, I think that has got 10, Sherry's got 30, Teresa uh, is going too fast, okay, <laughs> uh, 30, um, uh, I think that was Stella said 15, Yvonne saying at least 30, okay, uh, 15, um, yeah, 38, Rich's got eight, Tash five. We're all over the place, aren't we? The average is, is kind of between 12 and 24, okay? Um, so, you know, it depends on, the, Mary's got one. I hope you don't break it, Mary. <laughs> um, okay, oh, oh, two, and two ugly ones. Okay, so, all right. Um, but that, you know, everyone, a lot of people have got quite a lot of mugs, haven't they? Um, in the cupboard, either because you've gathered them over time or you've been given them or whatever. Francis got 30 to 40. Um, the, the most anyone's owned up was a, a gentleman in Germany who told me very precisely that he had 165 mugs. I think he must have had a special cupboard to keep them all in. Um, that's, that's one for like, yeah, shelf decoration. It's one for every other day of the year, isn't it, basically? Um, it, it's pretty crazy, let's be quite honest. But in, in terms of 
um, selling mugs, and this is, I said to you just now that they sell in volume. So if each household in the US bought just two mugs a year, yeah, that's 264 million mugs sold every year. It's pretty, uh, that's a lot of mugs, isn't it? That's a lot of potential business, a lot of money that you can get a chunk of. Here in the UK, ju just in the UK here, it'll be 59 million mugs. So worldwide, it is a huge market and you can see how big it is in the US there. It's, it's absolutely massive. So Heinz did a survey um, and they found that 60% uh, of people said they had an emotional attachment to a favorite mug. We've probably all got a favorite mug, haven't we? Um, I know I have, I'll, I'll, I'll open the cupboard and assuming they're not in the dishwasher, um, I'll pick out, you know, one of my favorite ones first. It, and it might be your favorite mug because of the shape, the size, the color, or it might be because of the, um, the, the sentimental attachment, the emotional attachment to it. Because as I said, a lot are given as, as presents, as gifts, okay? So um, the, the thing is that, as I put at the bottom, people identify with slogans, images, etc. cetera. Um, what I will do, and I'll, I'll go into this a bit more, is I will produce um, particularly a mug, I'll produce it for somebody's uh, hobby or for their, for their work, their job, their career, okay? Or maybe it's for a sport they, pay, they play. Um, so this, you know, um, if you're a, oh, crikey, let me think of an example. Okay, I'll give you a bizarre one, which uh, I don't know how big this is in the US, but, and it's not huge in the UK, but um, I've got some products for people who keep pigeons, okay? Racing pigeons, things like that because I always say, you know, a niche is fantastic and I'll explain that as we go on. But um, people will, um, you know, if you keep pigeons, um, we had Father's Day, of course, just gone and believe it or not, I was selling lots and lots of mugs for people who keep pigeons because if you want a Father's Day present for your dad, you don't know what to give him, but he keeps pigeons. What's the first thing you search for? pigeon gift, probably something like that. So I'm selling crazy amounts of mugs for people who keep pigeons. <laughs> it's great, it's brilliant. But also it works the same for people's sports, you know, whatever sport they play, um, or if it's a sport that they follow, you know, if you put that on the mug, or that will really, you know, they will identify it for that reason, but also for their, for their job. You know, if somebody's a nurse, uh, a lorry driver, whatever you know you can create a product aimed directly at that niche okay at their hobby their job etc and that is where you really really um will, will make a lot of money so um people worry about um you know designing skills if you like that's probably the best way or, or you know that you need to be an artist well let me tell you, if I try to draw a dog, it would probably be have three ears and five legs um, and you wouldn't know which end was the head and which end was the tail. <laughs> That's how useless I am at drawing or painting or anything like that. You, you really, really don't need to have any artistic ability. Um, if you have, great, you know, but, but it's not essential. Um, so this is an example. Um, this is a best-selling mug, okay? Now, I'm sure everyone on here can do this. It's three words. We've got longer sentences in the chat there. Um, so how long is that gonna take you to create it? I use the word design loosely because you can hardly call it a design, can you? It, it, it's mad. Um, but literally you can produce that really, really quickly. Now that's been a best-selling mug for years. And the person who came up with that first is probably the, will be the one who's making the most money out of it. And they're literally making thousands from one mug because it's a bestseller they're potentially making thousands um but it's a sobering thought and you're probably thinking he's talking nonsense but believe me i'm not you can make thousands out of a best-selling mug i had some at christmas uh, last year that were bestsellers and and my phone was just it was just constantly going ping 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 and there were a couple of mugs which were bestsellers and, and they were just going constantly th throughout the day, every day in the run up to Christmas. It, it, it was mad. Um, so these, just to give you some more examples, these are all bestsellers again, okay? 
they're literally just words you know that one's a bit technical they've crossed three words out <laughs> i can tell you how that is just you know that's just putting a line through it um these are all really really easy designs you know i'm sorry did i roll my eyes out loud that one there sells incredible amounts um so it's just mad but you know this is this is what you want a piece of um because if you get one best selling mug you are making an awful lot of money um but there's others other ways to go about this um if we look at these here um this is a saying that that somebody said here in the uk a, a couple of years back um so this is basically the same mug isn't it but it's not um now i'm not suggesting that you copy other people's designs i don't do that but you can see here that that was a you know that was something which this uh it was the son of a celebrity here in the uk and that's what he said and and it kind of took off uh, went viral and so everybody started producing these products with this wording on so these are all the same but different i mean let's have a vote on this Get, let, let, let's put it in the chat um who likes number one who likes number two and who likes number three um because undoubtedly sherry likes two michelle three nicole i missed that <laughs> three three oh i think three's got it you know at the moment um where are we uh i can't read them they're coming in so quick okay let me have a look so uh Joya three, I think that was Rich three, Georgiana two, Deborah one, Jackie one, Stella one, Renee three, Nelson three, Gregory three, Catherine one. Okay, I can't read all of these. Um, yeah, it's uh, there's one or two. There's a couple of twos in there. Um, who's that? Sharon, I think, likes two. Somebody else I saw uh, like two. It's between one and three, I think, at the moment. But um, oh, there's a few more twos coming in. Okay, but you can see that you all like a particular one. Now, if you said, oh, I want one of these mugs which say, oh, what a day, you're going to pick one of them, aren't you? Now, if you really like, for example, number three, you're probably going to be quite happy to pay a dollar more for that than number one or number two, because that's the one you like, you know? And then this is where you can actually, um, you know, um, you you can sort of, I've forgotten what I was going to say now, and we're watching the chat. <laughs> Stop looking at the chat, Nigel. Okay, so this is where you can actually make something your own and actually maybe control it a little bit more and get a little bit more money for it, okay? Um, because somebody will like your specific design. This This is an extreme example, but I've just done it just to give you some idea. Okay, so... A lot of people will ask me if, if, if you um, if you're selling this product and you, you haven't made it until it's been sold, how are you going to sell it? So you can see here, if you look at the picture on the left, um, that is a I've uploaded this design and it's not a good design. <laughs> it's something I've done really quickly just to show you what can be done. Um, but that I've uploaded this design to the manufacturer's website and they've given me uh, this image. They'll give me a similar image of the other side because I'll always put my designs on both sides and they will show me the, the front of it, if you like, the middle bit between the two sides because I might have a design that goes all the way around the mug. So I want to show people that, that middle section as well. Um, but if you look at on the right, there's a young lady drinking out of the mug. So that product's got to exist, hasn't it? Because ultimately there's a young lady holding it. So they're gonna think, I've had this mug made so that I can do a few photo shoot with this young lady. And, uh, you know, not the case at all. This this has never been made and never will be made. It's, it's not a design I'm proud of. It's something I did quickly. But you might be looking at that and thinking, well, mm, it's getting a bit more complicated now, Nigel. Look at it this way. So what I've done is I've taken a black circle and I've put it on the mug. I've then taken a picture of a mug, which I can use copyright free, and I've clicked to put it on in, you know, on the front of the black circle. I've typed in two sentences and just changed the, the typeface of those two sentences. That's literally all that is. So again, any of you can do this and you can keep this as simple as you want, or you can, you know, it, it's really, really addictive. Um, and you will just, once you start on this, you can get hooked and you'll just get, you'll probably get more and more involved and you will start to do more 
uh, involved designs, but you really, really don't need to, because a lot of them, like those simple ones with just a few words on, they will sell really, really well. And I, when I first started doing this, um, I was like, you know, surely people are going to want something a bit better than that, a bit more interesting, a nicer design. Not necessarily. They really will buy those mugs with just a few black words on, on a white mug. It's, it's, it's crazy, but I don't mind if they're spending money with me. That's great. Um, OK, so I'm nothing but honest. OK, so prepare to fail. I'll just say everybody's leaving now. Oh, well, we're going to fail. Um, now, listen, 80% of your designs are probably not going to sell in big quantities, okay? Some won't sell at all. Now, I've done designs. I, I, I've done a design and thought, wow, I'm really proud of that. That's fantastic. I love it. It's going to sell, you know, in massive numbers. Guess what? Nobody ever bought one. Um, and then I've done a design and thought, you know, like one of the ones I was just talking about with a few black words on a on a white mug. I've done that and thought it's OK. And what do you know? People are buying it in crazy quantities. So, you know, you, you don't know until you try these things. You'll get better at it as you go along. But some won't sell at all. Um, some will see you will sell a few off. And I'll come on to that in a minute because this is one of my favorite areas. And a few will take off and become bestsellers. So, you know, as I said, if you get a bestseller, you can make an awful lot of money from it. But it's not something to become obsessed about or worry about. OK, this the sentence I've put above that some designs will sell a few is, is my favorite, favorite area of print on demand, because this is where you target those niches. OK, you create the products, you know, something like somebody who keeps pigeons, you know, um, I don't know how many people are on here that keep pigeons, but probably very, very few and probably none. Um, so, you know, but what will happen? You are reaching a massive, massive audience, as I'll show you. And there will be people on there who do keep pigeons. And as a result of that, because that's a niche and who's going to think of creating a product for people who keep pigeons? OK, not many people. The majority of people are not going to look for these things. They're not going to know how to find and identify all these niches. And so what will happen is you will sell them uh, steadily Though you know, you'll get regular sales throughout the year. And at the end of the year, if you add up how much, uh, you know, these products sell for, you will find you've taken an awful lot of money and people just don't get their head around that this is what they should be doing. They, they're, they're striving to get these best sellers. You will get best sellers, but, you know, they become obsessed. They want to be mainstream, something that they think everyone is going to buy. So don't niche it right down to, you know, like I said, a hobby, a career, a job, a sport, whatever. So many different things that you can do. There really are. I, you know, I, I, I've got products for just, well, just just a whole mass of different things and, and hobbies and things like that. And they just tick away constantly and make you a lot of money over the period of a year. So this is a site called Passive Income Calculator. I said I'd show you how you make money from just selling mugs. Uh, PassiveIncomeCalculator.com. Anyone can go on this. And at the top menu, you'll search for print on demand. Um, as a for an income calculator now um i've put this it is in dollars okay so um i've put in here uh, i make uh, 5 pound 50 in uk money which is, at the moment uh is 662 uh dollars um now this is um revenue per sale this is profit okay so i will make uh, 6 dollars 62 profit on a mug now, if I just sell uh, 10 mugs a day, OK, just 10 mugs a day, you can see on the right how much money I'm making. Remember, this is not turnover. This is profit. So I'm making $66 a day. Very nice, isn't it? Which is 23,832 a year. It's, it's a lot of money just from selling 10 mugs. If we really want to go for this and print on demand is is a, is a numbers game it's about producing uh lots and lots of designs sit down in the evening whenever you've got a spare half an hour and just knock out a couple of designs and this is how you really really build it up because basically the more you put on the more you will sell 
I've already said to you, some of them will sell, some of them won't. So you just you just keep producing designs and then you'll every now and again you'll hit real gold or if you're targeting these niches you'll get these regular sellers ticking away throughout the year but but look at the figures on here this is not my figures this is from passive income calculator <clears throat> excuse me if you can get that up to 30 mugs a day you're talking $71,496 profit a year okay so you can see you know how you can take this to wherever you want you can use it to um, make a bit of side income if you want you know an, an extra holiday a new car something like that you can use it to make some extra side income but if you really want to go for it um, and it's all down to the amount of effort you put in just making those designs you you can see here that you can you know uh, replace your nine to five job quite quite easily okay um, so this just gives you some idea of the potential and this is just based on what I make on a mug so what else can you sell because the beauty of doing a design on print on demand is that you can take that design and you might initially do it for a mug or or a t-shirt whatever wherever you're starting like you know I, I think mugs is a great place to start but you can take that design just resize it and you can put it on a t-shirt a hoodie you maybe could put it on a phone case on an apron you know on a key ring you've only got to design it once you can go and put it on all of these different things and i won't go through all of these this is just you know a small amount of the things that you can do then there are some sort of you know strange things out there i was looking at a lady the other week um and she was actually printing altar cloths for for Wiccans for witches okay and she was selling masses of them but basically she was printing it onto a scarf and selling that scarf as an altar cloth it's it's very inventive and she's making a lot of money from it so you can think outside the box but you know you you want to get yourself started and established with some of the the, the sort of steady products but a lot of these sell well you saw prints in the in the top five there um some people like to do hats because they're a bit different you, you know you can sell caps in the summer different sorts of hats in the winter baby grows um i became a granddad uh, one month ago today because my daughter reminded me um and so i had a you know i had a little baby grow uh, i'm not sure if you call them baby grows in the us maybe you call them something else but you know those little um, all-in-one outfits for babies so i had a personalized one of those made for my new granddaughter and, and uh, my daughter loved it so you know so many different things you can do here aprons bizarrely uh, sell very well at christmas um for some reason men um buy them for their wives for christmas present i could just imagine the reaction if i bought my wife an apron uh, it wouldn't be good but if, if men want to buy them for their wives, that's great. You know, I'm 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 going to take the money all day long. Okay, um, that that's you know that's the world we live in, isn't it? You know, um, yeah, it's yeah. Oh, baby grows a onesie. Thank you, Mallet. Yeah, yeah, I should have known that onesie. Yeah, few people saying that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's all these words that are different, aren't they? But and they we we. Fortunately, you knew what I was talking about. Um, right, okay. Um, so why Etsy? Um, as somebody was asking me earlier on, well, Etsy's the third largest marketplace here in the UK, fourth largest for you in the US. Um, but in 2021, there were nearly 90 million active buyers on Etsy. Can you remember me saying to my wife that it's only a small marketplace? Um, yeah, you can see where I was proved wrong. Etsy has grown massively in the last few years, as I'll show you in fairness but it is a massive, massive market. So 90 million active buyers, you'll see I put active in big letters. Um, so in 2021, there were 90 million people who bought at least one item. And the majority of people will buy more than one item because Etsy in its own right is addictive. You, you, there's some great stuff on there. Um, so, you know, 90 million people bought at least one item, but there's only 5 million sellers, okay fourth largest fastest growing e-company commerce in the world etsy is is etsy's really really the place to be 
um, it's kind of where eBay was all those years ago when 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 I you know when I was jumping on like Alicia said she jumped onto eBay all those years ago you know that's where Etsy now Etsy's been around for a while but it is now coming into the big time so so that's why you want to get on now um, and not wait a few years just to give you some idea of the growth uh, you can see here from 2019 to 2020 sales on Etsy went from 4.94 billion dollars to 10.97 billion 107 percent growth it's absolutely staggering um but okay we were in lockdown so so we couldn't go out and we had to buy online so you would expect that to grow but but that growth is absolutely um crazy um and it is continuing to grow um you know it's it's slowing a bit the rate of growth but it is still continuing to regularly grow and i've seen reports from etsy on lots of the categories that, that are really still doing phenomenally well um i bought things online during lockdown that i'd probably never bought before but now um i wouldn't you know i wouldn't think about it i would just carry on buying it but to put this into perspective if we compare this with ebay during the same period ebay grew by 16.9 uh, percent 16.9 percent and etsy grew by 107 percent so you can see why now is is the time to be on you know to be getting onto etsy it really really is um okay so we just we'll have a little bit of a, a look at the you know these are the three obvious ones aren't they ebay amazon and etsy so a lot of people will go onto ebay um to, and they will search for products on price not everyone but the top selling category on ebay is tech products mobile phones things like that uh, the second biggest category is motor parts so you know you can compare one phone with another um, and you'll probably buy the cheapest one the same with a you know if you want some new brakes for your car you're going to go with the one that's the cheapest because ultimately you know it might be a different make maybe but it's the same product it's going to do the same job so a lot of people will go on there and and compare on price um amazon um if you're like me you go on amazon and the first thing you look for is to see if it's on prime and if you're going to get it the next day um it may be the same day in some places in the world not where i live but yeah certainly the next day that is what you look for and if the product you're looking at is not going to be delivered the next day the chances are you'll go on to something else now this gives you two options you if you want to um sell a mug on amazon you would you would have to in that case have it made and shipped to amazon and then you would be charged potentially be charged storage you'd be charged if it, if it didn't sell and you had to send it back but you're destroying that big advantage of print on demand which is that you haven't got to have it made until you've sold it um, you also have amazon marketplace now amazon marketplace works a little bit similar to the way that print on demand does on um, on etsy and it does sell on amazon so i'm not saying don't sell on amazon however the big difference there is that with amazon marketplace what amazon actually pay you is a royalty so you're creating a product almost for amazon and they are paying you a royalty um, and in lots of cases you can't you can't sell mugs through amazon marketplace you can only really do uh, t-shirts hoodies and, and a range of, of clothing products like that you can do phone cases um, there's not a lot else it's very very limited but you're getting paid a royalty so um, on some products you're going to make a few cents on other products you might make a couple of dollars okay that's not what we're here for so if you start producing products and you're putting them on etsy and then you want to expand onto amazon at a later date great you can either put them on marketplace uh, later or you can um you know if you have a product which if you put a product on etsy and it sells you then know that you could afford to have it made and then you could have it shipped to amazon um, and use amazon fba fulfilled by amazon okay um so i'm not saying don't use amazon but there are some very very good reasons you can start on etsy uh and one is that it's uh, it's entirely free to set up a shop as i'll show you 
but also people are looking for unique products on Etsy. They're looking for something a bit different, okay? Um, if you look at the top search terms, the top search term last month on eBay was PS5. Uh, on Amazon, it was baby formula. Um, laptop appeared in the top five on both eBay and Amazon. Uh, and Amazon, believe it or not, toilet rolls was in the top five. I thought we were out of lockdown. I <laughs> That's a bit of a bizarre one. I thought people had stopped um, buying toilet rolls um, online, but they're obviously not. Um, so uh, Etsy, what are the top search terms? Well, the top search term last month was personalized gift. OK, kind of says it all, doesn't it? Of the top five search terms, gift was uh, the word gift was in three out of five of the top search terms so it's just useful to give you some comparison of where you are um, i'll be quite honest and say it's not really worth putting print on demand products onto ebay in my opinion they really don't sell particularly well i don't consider it worth the effort it's just not the right marketplace um, they will sell on etsy and amazon okay um, so where are your buyers well over there, you're very, very lucky because 61% of the buyers on Etsy are in the US, okay? Uh, we've got 30% here in the UK. We're the two biggest markets. Um, so over 50 more, 54 million buyers in the US. The next biggest countries you can see with their share of the market are Canada, Australia, and then Germany and France. You can actually, there is a setting you can put on on Etsy uh, and they will auto translate all your listings for you uh, in other countries because I ship all over the world, absolutely all over the world. OK. Um, and if somebody was to log on to Etsy in France, it would show your item uh, in French <laughs> automatically translated and it doesn't cost you anything. <clears throat> Excuse me while I have a drink. So. Um, OK, um, yeah, that's, uh, Sarah's asking how much longer. I'm afraid that there's a mass of information. I'm going to give you so much stuff here. Um, I'm going to give you an absolute mass. Uh, sorry, the, there's just so much. This I haven't even got onto the really exciting stuff yet. That's that's coming in a bit. <laughs> OK, um, selling costs. I'll try and talk a bit faster for those who are in a hurry. Um, so a standard shop is absolutely free on Etsy, OK? Um, I should have looked up the cost of a shop on eBay. Uh, a, a standard shop on eBay here in the UK is £25, which my guess is 30 something dollars, probably a month. Um, and if you're selling professionally on eBay, you really, really need that. But a standard shop on Etsy is completely free. It's entirely free to set up your account and have a standard shop. Uh, you can have a plus shop uh, that costs you ten dollars a month. Um, personally, I don't bother. None of mine are plus shops. It allows you to have a revolving banner at the top, uh, some bigger photos uh, on the, at the top of your first page. Don't really consider it's worth it. But having said that, if you want it, then go for it, because as you can see there, you spend ten dollars a month uh, for your plus shop. You'll get an advertising credit for five dollars, which I'll come on to in a bit. You'll get 15 free listing insertions. So you're getting eight dollars back. Your total costs uh, 20 cents to put an item on. And then you're talking ten and a half percent, which is which makes it a very, very cost effective marketplace because it's, um, you know, if you think Amazon, you're looking at around 15 uh, percent. Uh, and eBay is all over the place, depending on which category you're selling in, but it's far cheaper to sell on Etsy. Um, so sounds easy. So now I'm going to explain to you what you need to do to set up your, your, your shop, because unlike the likes of eBay, where you can open something up and throw in anything you want, you know, you, you can sell some books and a pair of shoes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, with Etsy, you want to treat it as if it's a proper business, as if this was, if you like, a physical shop. You wouldn't go into a shop, um, you know, that just sells a bit of everything. You would go into something which specializes in um, a particular product. Now, that might be you might present yourself as a designer, in which case you are designing things to go on to mugs and T-shirts and phone cases, etc. 
uh, or you might just present you know you might want to do t-shirts and try and build a real sort of t-shirt business um, so what you really really need to do is you need to build a proper brand okay you need to become a recognized brand um, you need a very very professional shop design um, and I teach people exactly how to do this um, the setup costs you know I, I said to you the setup costs it's all free to open a shop the only things you need are a couple of programs two programs which will maybe cost you one will be sort of maybe fifteen dollars one a little bit more a month that's literally all you need um, and once you've got them there are no other costs but using these programs you can do all your designs for your products you can produce all those images i showed you um, of people you know holding a mug etc and i'm going to show you something even more exciting in a minute um, you can use the same program to do your logo which you can use throughout in your shop etc okay so you know it's it's very important that you build this professional shop that it's set up correctly because that just builds this trust in people and it will help you build a brand which you can then take onto other platforms if you want to um you know afterwards but but start on etsy really really do so the other thing you need to do is you must have your seo correct search engine optimization uh, this is where people get scared uh, honestly no html anyone can do this it's really really simple when you know how but you must have both uh, the seo in your shop correct and the seo on each of your different items um, you'll soon get the hang of this i explain it all when i do training i explain it all um, but it, it's it's essential to be quite honest absolutely essential but so so easy this is where like i said earlier on people think you just open a shop and put some products in it and everyone's going to come rushing there's 90 million people there they're all going to see it well you've got to you've got to put it in front of them you've got to get your listing set up so that they're going to find it um, so uh, there's several things you need to do you have uh, for example obviously you've got your heading you realize that you've got your description now, up until about two weeks ago, your description, believe it or not, had absolutely no impact on how you ranked on Etsy. That's changed in the last couple of weeks. So there's certain things you need to do with that, but also the content of your description and where you put your keywords, things like that. You can't just throw keywords in all over the place. It needs to be done properly. But if that's done properly, that is how you'll get ranked on Google and Bing and the other search engines so this is very important um, i offer a service um, which i charge 299 dollars for where um, i will uh, take somebody's existing uh, etsy shop and analyze it all for them and tell them exactly what they're doing right what they're doing wrong what they need to do i had a lady from mexico contact me a while ago she'd been on etsy for two years and sold seven items and within the space of two minutes i could tell her exactly where she was going wrong because all her seo was wrong and nobody was ever going to find her items it was just pure luck really that that she'd sold seven items um, so your seo has got to be correct but really really when you know how you'll just do it second nature you'll just do it automatically um, something else you need to do is optimize your listings for mobile phones you can see here 58 percent of all sales on etsy are on the app uh, interestingly eBay is only 35% but so many people buy on the phone you know I mean my kids they don't go on a laptop they do everything literally everything on their phone now if your um, listing is not set up if they can't look at your item and see it, all the information they want just like that they'll probably go on to somebody else's so why do people on Etsy not set up the listings for mobile phones and again i tell you what once you know how to do this you will um you'll have the basic set up there and you will cut and paste it onto each listing and then you just amend it's that simple no html again okay but it's about how you set up your listing so that it appears correct on a mobile phone um, there's other things you can do okay you can do um, and this is another great thing you can do all sorts of promotions and coupons and things so um 
if for instance somebody leaves something in their basket you could say okay i'm going to give them 10 percent off if they go and check out now <clears throat> excuse me so um but you don't want to be doing that all the time so there is a way to set it up so that um you set it up when you create your shop you never need to look at it again you can offer them you know a discount maybe 10 percent off or an amount off or you can offer them free shipping if you're charging for shipping okay i always charge for shipping um, i never offer free shipping uh, people will may disagree with this but it enables me to price my product um, at a very com what appears to be a competitive point people will say yes i like that you know it's a unique product if they've clicked on it they know they want it they'll quite happily pay the shipping and the shipping costs are literally cost price with no costs for packaging or anything else um, <clears throat> so if you're doing that you can offer free shipping as, as another example um, and again you get people who will favorite items if you're familiar with Etsy you might do that yourself I, I tend to think of it as like Pinterest for uh, Etsy if you like people are almost pinning it they're favoriting it that might be because they want to buy it later they want to come back for it they've undecided but they want to be able to get back to it so again, you can automate the whole process so that they can come back and, um, you know, get his 10% off as an example. I used to get really, in the early days, I used to get fed up when people favorited my items. I'm thinking, what do they keep favoriting it? Why don't they actually buy it? Um, now I think, oh good, something else has been favorited. <laughs> um, because it's telling the algorithm that people are interested in your product and your product because it's been favorited will start to get ranked higher and higher okay so people favoriting things don't get fed up with it, it it's great so advertising something else people don't like you know i have an advertising background okay um you can advertise on etsy from one dollar a day personally i recommend maybe starting at two dollars um, and the reason for this is when you're starting out you're not going to rank particularly well okay because you haven't made any sales you haven't got any feedback and etsy will give you a little bit of a boost because you're new but it won't last for very long now if you put a search in um, let's say you put a search in on etsy for um, mug for skier the results that come up you'll see them all in little boxes won't you um, so the first row will actually all be adverts and the majority of people won't even realize that simply because the only difference between that and organic uh, listing is that it'll say ad by Etsy seller in tiny little print in the bottom corner. So all of that first row will be adverts. The next two will be the organic results. And then the one below that, the fourth one will be ads again. And so it goes on. So if you get your, you can use advertising to get ranked on that first page and you will start getting some sales and then you can start to get ranked um, organically it just gives you a bit of a boost uh, some of my shops I will advertise all year round others I don't ever advertise uh, but you have complete control over it you can switch it off and on you can switch different products off and on you can decide how much you want you can reduce and raise your budget so certain times a year I'll raise my budget because when it's busy is when you want to advertise that is when you will get a by advertising you'll get a bigger share of the market that's out there rather than when it's quiet uh, advertising when it's quiet which is a lot of people what a lot of people think doesn't really work because there's not many buyers out there so you're advertising to a small market um, but this advertising can make a big difference now the only thing here uh, you haven't got a designer advert anything at all etsy does it all for you okay it's just positioning it on the first page you don't pay unless somebody clicks on it so that's the first advantage um, <clears throat> excuse me um and i've completely forgotten what i was going to say but you know the, that's um what was i going to say help <laughs> i've completely forgotten anyway advertising will um will really make a difference and start to get you ranked okay uh, and, and you just completely control it i know what i was going to say seo okay um the, because etsy is um trying to find out the algorithm is trying to find out who to show it to they will base that on the seo on your listing so if your seo is wrong on your listing and this is another reason why it's so important to get it correct they will show your adverts to the wrong people okay 
Um, so that's why another reason why the SEO is so, so important. OK, my mind went blank there for a minute. Um, so that's advertising. You haven't got to do it, but but it's a good idea when you're starting out just to give you that little bit of boost and get some sales. So this, as I said to you, this what I've been talking to you here is 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 the is the basic stuff, believe it or not. Now we're going to move on to the more exciting stuff. Um, I've got a course um, where I which is all about selling on Etsy and that will work if you want to sell a physical product. It's all in there. OK, it tells you everything you need to do, but it also tells you how to do print on demand. But um, what I've done recently is that I've um, created a course with all the advanced techniques in it um, that I've never previously taught people and all the tips and tricks that I use to get my Etsy businesses uh, ranked, really, really ranked. So I've created this advanced course. So I'm going to show you what's in that because this is the real, the real exciting stuff. Um, remember I said about showing people the picture of somebody um, holding your mug, drinking out of your mug? Well, what if you can show them a video? Yeah, a video of your product, which has never, ever been made. You can see there's the man on the left with a pigeon mug. <laughs> Um, OK, the the one on the right, you can see that's a colour changing mug, which you'll learn in the advanced course. Now, that would be quite difficult to show in photographs, wouldn't it? But if you can show somebody exactly how that colour changing mug works, that's one of mine, the Northern Lights, um, you know, in a video, they can see exactly what they're getting. So you can do all of that in those two um, programmes I told you about. The one, the revolving mug here, now this works even better um, if it's a design that goes all the way around, you know, like the Northern Lights, when the design goes all the way around the mug rather than just having it on both sides. But this is a technique I've developed using a free program um, and I have found a way to put your design on it. And again, it's only that original design you're doing for your product. You haven't got to do anything else. Um, you just resize it to get, well, you don't even resize it, actually. You just put it straight onto this program. And I've developed a technique, um, which nobody else is doing, where you can create uh, a video like that of your mugs. But, you know, you look at the other ones on there, you can also do videos for T-shirts, aprons, hoodies, phone cases. So you can show a video of somebody walking around in your T-shirt design that has never, ever been made. Who's not going to believe that that item exists and that you've had it made and you filmed somebody walking around in it? The same with other products. You can have somebody holding your phone case with your design on it in a video. OK, um, you can see that people are 64 percent more likely to buy after viewing a video. OK, so it's a massive, a massive plus compared with your competitors. And if you look at those figures, uh, 60 million listings on Etsy, only 1.7 million have videos. So if you can do this, this is going to get you more sales. In the advanced course, you also learn how to do things like this. This is something that we call word art. Um, so you can basically you type in all your words that you want. You decide um, what typeface you want, what color you want to put, and you, you press a button. Um, and you put it into a shape of your own or one that's available in the program, whichever you want to do. Um, and you create a design. So you could do something personalized like the one on the left for the um, for a wedding anniversary. You've got the, the young lady there, the young girl with her, um, you know, unicorn shaped design, uh, the hockey player there. The one that mug is one of mine. That's race courses here in the UK. And that's a good seller. I've got other things, you know, for sort of different types of biscuits and old fashioned sweets and things like that, which I put into these sort of designs. Most of the ones on here, the mug, you can see there's a few going vertically, a few going horizontal, um, but you can do it however you want. So um, you can have them all horizontal, all vertical, a mix of the two. You can have them at an angle. You can have them randomly scattered all over. Um, so it's a great little program. You do have to pay a little bit more for it, but I show you in the training a little technique to uh, get a huge number of designs for not a lot of money. Um, but you don't have to sign up. You only need to pay for this when you need it. So you don't need to sign up and pay for this. And this is something that you don't need, um, but it's something which, again, gives you a little 
um, advantage when you're getting into the more advanced stuff. So I would say this is something you move on to later. Um, just to defy me, a lady last week who's uh, just setting up her shop, come on the training a little while ago, decided to go straight in and do one of these designs. <laughs> um, okay, so it's up to you what you do, but you can start with the far, far simpler stuff first. Um, you'll also learn how to use the, uh, the I said there's a logo design program in there. So what I do is I teach you how to take a logo and turn it into an instant design to go on your products. So that one there, the Pizzeria, I've taken a logo for a Pizzeria and I've put a red rectangle on top of it and put some personalized wording in and I've sold this for dads, for granddads, grandpas, whatever. Um, you know, it's a way of generating very, very quick uh, professional looking designs. <laughs> You'll also learn how to find all those um, funny sayings and quotes and things like that, um, and how to actually turn them, how to find them easily, because it's not that simple when you actually sit down and try and do it. And it, you know, it's, you probably would come up with a very small list if you actually sat down and spend a lot of time doing it, but there are easy ways. Um, you'll learn how to find bestsellers. Um, now, I always say don't copy something, but you can take a design that somebody's got and make it different and make it your own. Um, you know, so there's a good reason for finding bestsellers. You're finding what's selling, what type of person is buying it, etc. But there is a another very, very important reason for finding a bestseller. And I'll come on to that in a minute um, because this is something really, really valuable. You'll also learn how to find um you know all the different trends and the niches um <clears throat> excuse me again as i said if you sit down if i said to you write down 20 um professions jobs it's actually not that easy it would take you ages but you there's it shows you how you can dive on and actually start finding all of these things really really quickly um because you don't just want those top level um, job titles. You want the lower level ones. You want to really niche it down. And that's where you're going to make a lot of sales over the period of a year. Um, it will also give you all the advanced SEO techniques. OK, how to really get ranked organically. Um, and it gives you a lot of crazy sort of design techniques, how to do the personalization, how you can take a background and just turn it into an all over mug design, all sorts of things. But also how to do things um, more quickly because ultimately you want to be doing these designs and getting them out there you don't want to be spending hours doing it so it will show you lots of little uh, tricks for how to do things uh, more quickly and easily also shows you how to analyze your uh, ROAS your return on ad spend sounding complicated at this stage but basically it's just a simple way of looking at your advertising looking at each of your listings and you do some comparison with figures, dead easy, okay? Um, but it'll tell you which um, which products are working for the advertising and which aren't so that you know whether to switch them off. You don't want to be spending money advertising a product that's not making you money. Uh, it's not converting at a good enough rate. So it'll show you, you know, you'll know exactly which ones to turn off. Um, shows you what I call all the boring stuff, okay? <laughs> boring but necessary. Um, so all your shop settings, it shows you how to rearrange your shop because ultimately you want your best selling items on your first page. Uh, it shows you how to create featured items. Uh, custom orders, you don't have to do this, but if you want to allow somebody to request a, um, a unique order, you can allow that. So it shows you how to do that. You can't gift wrap something. For a physical product, you can offer gift wrapping and you can actually make a, quite a bit of money on that on the side as an extra. But you can't do that with print on demand because you're not packing it. You're not shipping it. And um, I defy you to go and ask your print on demand manufacturer to gift wrap something for you. But what you can do is that you can have a gift message added. So um, you, in this case, if you want to allow that, and it will help with your sales. It's just a little extra, isn't it? You just send the, the, you know, the gift message to your manufacturer, tell them the order and they will add it on for you. Um, so it shows you how to set up the translation and how to do all the, the data and the finances and all of that side of it, um, which is boring but necessary, okay? Um, it shows you how to avoid any problems with trademarks or copyright. 
Um, when you know this, it's very, very simple, okay? Really simple, um, but it's a case of knowing it. I'm sure everybody knows that you can't put Adidas on the front of a T-shirt. You're gonna get into big trouble. But there are other areas where you, where you need to be careful. When you know it, you will never ever run into trouble, but it will actually give you links where, uh, where you can actually go and check uh, in the US and the UK, you know, if something is copyright, a word, a phrase, or even an image, uh, just so that you can be on the safe side if you're unsure about anything. Um, analytics is not my favorite thing, or it never used to be. Um, you know, I'm bad at doing the accounts. It usually ends up getting all thrown into an envelope and going off to the accountant. So, um, but there, there is room for analytics in your business. So um, you can use Etsy analytics, which will come with your shop. Um, and that will tell you where your traffic's coming from, that type of thing. If it's coming from uh, searches on Etsy, if it's coming from offsite ads, because Etsy will do offsite ads, if it's coming from social media, etc. You can also link Google Analytics. Now, Google Analytics is entirely free and it's quite useful for doing keyword research and the likes, but you do need to link it, which is, um, there's certain things you need to do. There's training on Etsy on how to do it, uh, and it's wrong, they've missed a step out. Uh, so the training in my course is correct um, and the real way to do it. Um, but it also shows you silly things. Now you don't want to spend time doing this, but I find it quite amusing. You can, using Google Analytics, you can actually see who's in your shop, how long they've been in there, which listings they've looked at, et cetera, et cetera. It's fun, but it's not going to help you sell more. Um, but the next thing I'm going to tell you is big time. So. I'll also in the training show you a program where you can analyze all your listings um, and do error checking, et cetera, et cetera. So at the press of a button, you can find out um, every spelling error that you've made. You can find um, every listing where you haven't got the correct keywords or tags if you've missed out what Etsy calls attributes. Um, it'll show you everything there. Um, you can also yeah, look at your performance. Um, you can, there's a profit calculator in there if you want to use it. Uh, it helps you, there's a link to help you find all the current trends. There's a sales map. This will in general be by country, um, but in the US it will actually break it down by state. Um, and are, there are certain states where I sell an awful lot um, more than others, which is quite interesting. And for you, that would probably be very interesting. Um, I mean, I literally ship all over the world. I mean, today alone, I know I've shipped to Finland, the US, because I ship every day to the US, uh, Australia, obviously the UK, I've shipped to France. Um, do you know, they literally go all over the world. And when you link your manufacturer, you don't even need to put the shipping cost in because the whole process is automated. And um, as soon as somebody goes on to buy an item and they say, oh yes, I'm in um, the Virgin Islands for sake of argument, I sent a mug there a while ago. Um, you know, it'll tell them exactly how much the shipping cost is, okay? Believe it or not, I sell a lot to the US and um, people aren't afraid of paying the shipping cost at all. Uh, last year, I created a mug uh, design for Thanksgiving and it sold absolutely like crazy and I was sending masses of them to the US and also all over the world to expats all over the world. So don't think that you won't sell all over the world, but you've got this, this massive market in the US. But the big thing about this program, remember I said to you about finding best sellers. So um, let's say, for example, you want to do a mug for a, a skier. That's not very seasonal, is it? But you're going to do a mug for a skier. So you go on to Etsy and you search mug for skier and you look at the results. Now, we know the first row is going to be adverts, but the second row will be the organic results. So you go to the organic result, which will undoubtedly be a bestseller or the chances are it is. Um, and you uh, open that listing and you find the seller's shop name. What you do is you go to this program and you load in quite legally the seller's shop name and it will analyze their shop for you. It'll almost take you into the back of their shop, okay? You will be able to find out everything that they've done, 
uh, all the bits that you can't see on a normal listing when you're viewing it as a buyer. So it will show you everything that they put in the attributes, you know, if the, all this type of thing. But the really, really interesting thing is it, you will be able to get all their keywords. Now, you know that this person has got the best selling mug for a skier and you want to produce a mug for a skier. So what are you going to do? You're going to use all their keywords and you've suddenly catapulted your listing um, up because you are doing, you know, you're using where appropriate all the same keywords and you're, you're analyzing all their SEO and using it yourself. So it's it's absolute gold. It, it really, really is. It, it's a massive, a massive thing. And I, I just love it. <laughs> I love print on demand, as you'll probably realize. Um, but things like this, just they, they just really make a difference. It's it's real fun. So I'll tell you what my courses include, um, because there's a lot in there. There's stuff in there I haven't even discussed because I haven't got the time. Um, but um, so the first course is about selling on Etsy, whether you're selling physical products or whether you're selling print on demand. It's all in there. OK, everything. Um, and I'll take you through what that includes in a moment. Um, so the second course will teach you all the real, the real advanced stuff, um, you know, how to get your print on demand uh, sales really, really going, how to sort of catapult it. Um, ahead of all the competition and people who've been selling on there for years unsuccessfully. This is just um, a couple of um, some feedback I've had from a couple of people. You can see there that um, Georgina said, I would recommend Nigel's course to everyone. Nigel has helped me set up a very professional looking shop, but not only that, it has all the SEO in place to attract buyers even before starting any advertising and within a few days of opening my Etsy shop, I made my first sale. Tanya said, Nigel is a great teacher. He's taught me so much. I hope to learn more from him in the future. Kay said, highly recommended, five out of five. And I can tell you Kay is really, really difficult to please. But I did tell her off because I said 10 out of 10 would have sounded a lot better, uh, even though, of course, it's exactly the same. <clears throat> I'm just going to have a quick drink. Bear with me. Otherwise, I might be croaking like a frog. Um, so I'm going to run through this really, really quickly because there's so much stuff in here. So the first course, OK, uh, shows you how to set up that really professional looking shop, how to do all the artwork, how to do the logo. You just learn all of this and it is, it's all in there. The courses are all in a video format. So you you have your own login um, and you can go on to them whenever you want. You do get support from me, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Um, but you can see uh, over my shoulder, if you like, me literally doing every single thing on the screen so you can follow along with it. So it'll show you how to find a shop name that sells. Your shop name is important. We're talking about, you know, building a brand and sounding professional. Um, and you'll find somebody who calls their shop a silly name or it's a shop which limits what they can sell in it. You've got to think to the future. You know, are you going to want to sell other things in this shop? So there's lots of things you need to think of when you're finding your shop name. It'll show you how to find suppliers, whether for physical products or for print on demand business. Um, there will be a downloadable PDF with a list of print on demand companies. It shows you how to work out your profit margins. Um, I'm going to go through this quite quick. How to optimize your shop for mobiles, which we spoke about. Uh, how to identify your customer I haven't touched on. We all speak to people differently. Um, based on how we see them, how they're dressed, how they talk. We don't think we do, but we do. Um, and I could give some wonderful examples of that, but I'm not going to because I haven't got the time. But um, if you know who your ideal customer is, um, you know, are they male or female? They might be both. Why, are they, why would they buy your product? What sort of age group are they? You can target your description um, more directly at them and get more sales. But the most important thing is that they're not buying your product. What they're actually buying is the benefit of buying your product. So if it's a personalized item, that benefit is that they're showing the person that they've given the gift to, like I said earlier, that they've gone out of their way to have something special made for them. So if you know the benefit that that customer is going to get from it, you can use that to actually help increase your sales. This is something you don't need to do at all. It's just a little extra, um, but it's something which once you get further down the line, you know, you might want to look at 
um, but you know you need to do the basics first really get it set up this course will tell you how to make videos and photos now this will it'll show you how to do all the photos for print on demand but it also goes into videos for physical products um, how you can use your mobile phone to produce really good videos this type of thing you don't need to do any of that with print on demand okay none of that you literally load your design which you've done for your item onto a program and, and generate these things um, shows you how to do all the advertising shows you how to do all the promotions the coupons how to build feedback and followers how to become an etsy star seller that's something they've introduced um, a few months ago basically it's um you're able to get a badge on your shop to show that you offer exceptional service so it will tell you what you've got to do for that so this first course includes 18 training videos uh, there's 10 downloadable PDFs with everything, like I said, from suppliers through to the dimensions of all the artwork you need to do, all that type of thing. You get lifetime access. You can log on whenever you want, a unique login. You create your own password. Um, you can do it anytime, day or night. And I sell this for $599, okay? I never discount this course. Um, but I am going to do you a very, very special deal because Alicia kindly asked me if i would do something crazy and i'm going to do something crazy you'll see that i don't go in for this you'll get people come on here and say this is worth fifteen thousand um, dollars but today i'm going to do it for this this is the price i sell it for okay i'm not going to tell you it's worth fifteen thousand dollars it probably is but i'm not going to tell you that that's just not my style i'm not someone who does a hard sell if this is for you, I know it will work for you. This this can work for anyone, okay? Um, but I sell this course for five nine nine, and I have done consistently. Um, so that's what I sell it for. So the advanced print on demand course, what's that going to include? Include um, lots of magic stuff. It'll show you how to find all the funny phrases and sayings we spoke about. How to find the best sellers how to find and research and target niches how to find and use trends you know i you, you know over here we who got our resident um prime minister who um i'm sure a lot of people be very happy that he's gone today being forced to resign but we had this ridiculous situation where they were having parties during lockdown um so when the news for that broke i had a um i had a mug released that day for party gate as it was called over here that is how quick you can react to things okay and you a traditional manufacturer wouldn't be able to do that but because you're there you can do the design on your laptop and create a design and you haven't got to make it um, so that's how quick you can be it'll show you how to use the logo design program i said now this is this is a brilliant program um, how you can create ready-made designs almost instantly how to do all those videos, whether it's for uh, mugs, t-shirts, phone cases, et cetera, um, how to do all the advanced SEO, et cetera. As I said, I'm gonna race through this because there is so much and I've had to just highlight the main things, how to do those word art designs. Again, everything over my shoulder, you watch me exactly doing the whole lot. Um, the advanced design techniques, how to do personalized products. Uh, there's just so much in here. Um, the advanced shop management, uh, the maintenance, the settings, the boring stuff. <laughs> um, now, this is something that all of my students are absolutely loving. Um, I've done a video and I take you from start to finish, from coming up with an idea all the way through to um, designing the product, to creating the product, to finding all the keywords, putting all of that in, to loading it onto the manufacturer's site, to actually, to right to the very end, you know, doing the photos, making the video where the product is actually live on Etsy. So you follow me step by step from the idea through to the finished product. And people are loving it because you can just watch it and see everything step by step. Um, but you've got the backup of all these other training videos, which give you all the more detailed stuff. But you could take that and create something, you know, using that video. It's uh, the feedback I've had on that's been incredible. <clears throat> I'll show you how to avoid the copyright infringement, the trademark thing. That easy when you know how. And I'll show you how to do all the analytics and, and that program where you can 
uh, spy on your competitors and steal all their SEO and their keywords, <laughs> etc. Okay, so um, how much is it going to be? This is what you want to know. How much am I going to sell this for? Well, this course also sells for $599. I said I'm going to do you a crazy offer, so bear with me, okay? Um, I've put there it's worth its weight in gold, but it's $599. Again, I'm not going to tell you it's worth $15,000. One of my students last week messaged me and she said, uh, one of my new students, she said the first course was absolutely amazing, but that the second course absolutely blew her mind, okay? Um, so I stand by what I say that it's worth its weight in gold, um, but I'm going to do you a crazy offer. Are you ready? Do we want a crazy offer? Let me know in the chat if you want a crazy offer. <laughs> okay, I think there's lots of people want a crazy offer. Okay, um, right. I told you I never discounted the first course, didn't I? Um, right, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Are we ready? Okay, if you buy the first course, I don't know how Alicia taught me into this, um, I'm going to give you the advanced course free of charge, okay? So the two courses that I sell for $599, I will give you both for the price of one, okay? Um, I've gone absolutely mad. Um, so this, it, it's, it, I think it's an amazing offer. I love print on demand. I know you're going to love print on demand. I really, really do. The link there, um, if you click on that link, that will take you to uh, the checkout on that. Um, it's, you know, it's an amazing offer, but I'm going to give you a bit more, okay? If you want some more, I'm going to give you a bit more. I said I'd give you some support. Um, so I will also include 90 days unlimited email support, okay? It is unlimited. Um, you know, there's, I, I jump on and do this myself. Um, you know, I, my, the, you know, the team work on the basic stuff, but I come on the front end and I do all of this because I want people to succeed. I get on and do all of this. Okay. So you deal, you deal with me for all of this type of stuff. I help you with all of this. Okay. Now, you know, that's another $249 worth for three months of, of email support, but also I'll give you a 30 minute live one-to-one -one with me. Okay. On zoom literally you and me um, you can ask me anything you want but the the beauty of this is that um you know we can share our screens if you want to share your screen and show me something you can do it or i can share my screen and show you exactly how to do something uh you know you can ask me anything literally anything and i'll help you out on that okay um so there's one other thing i'm going to do now i told you you know the about the lady in Mexico who'd sold, um, you know, seven items in two years, which was crazy. You know, she paid for this service and it was worth this all day long. And I've never done this before, um, but I am going to do this now. I'm going to include that in the price. So that's, you know, that's half the value of, of one course and you're getting two courses for the price of one. So I'm going to include that as well. Um, so here's what you're going to get. Um, you get the Etsy seller course, the advanced print on demand course. Um, so there's 36 videos in all, plus all the downloadable PDFs. Um, you'll get the 90 days unlimited email support, 30 minute live one to one with me, just the two of us. Um, full shop assessment, you know, unless you're working with someone else, you know, a, a lady just signed up yesterday and she's doing it with her daughter. So, you know, I said to him, great, set up one shop. Uh, and then after that, maybe you can set up another two and compete with each other, <laughs> okay? Um, because you can, I have multiple shops, as you know. Now, there's various reasons for doing that. Let's say um, you might want a shop that sells just mugs. You might want one that um, sells a whole range of products if you're presenting it as something that you, you design. On the other hand, let's say you wanted a shop and you wanted to target, shall we say, um, engineers. So what you could do is you could set, set up a shop which is entirely targeted at engineers. So in this case, you would produce mugs for engineers, t-shirts for engineers, key rings for engineers, caps for engineers. So you absolutely go into that niche and you will attract a really, really good following. So you can have multiple shops. 
um, and it works really, really well. But probably the best thing, unless you've got a niche already in mind, is to start with a general shop, get yourself established, and then you, you can just build and build and build from there. So that's where you're going to get the shop assessment, as I said, I've agreed to include as well. So you've got a value of 1,995. Um, as I said, I'm not going to, I've already said it could be worth 15. I, I don't do any of that nonsense. This is the actual value, okay? Um, and you're going to get that for 599 today. You could try and do it yourself. Um, believe me, um, it will probably take you years. Um, there's very few people teaching this. Um, I know the others that are, and I know that um, there's a lot of stuff just in that advanced course they don't even know about themselves, okay? Um, so, you know, there's, you can try and do it yourself. Um, it won't be easy, I'll tell you. Um, but so this, just to remind you, that's the link there, podisawesome.com. Um, so you're going to get the Etsy seller course, the advanced print on demand course, the email support package, the one-to-one -one with me, the shop evaluation, uh, value of 1995 and it's only going to cost you 599 um, But I'm going to give you more, okay? Um, you'll get a link to get your first 40 Etsy shop listing insertion fees for free, okay? Um, there's a print-on-demand supplier I use. They are in the UK. Um, they're brilliant. You'll get a list of print-on-demand suppliers. There's masses in the US. If you want to use mine, bear in mind you can use more than one uh, print-on-demand supplier if you want. Mine's in the UK, but you will get a deal with them where um, if you sell, you, once you've sold your first 30 items, you'll get something like about $8 back just to help you out. It's not a lot, but it all helps, you know, it all adds up. Um, plus, we've got a Facebook community um, where people go in and they share their journey with everyone else. Um, you know, you can interact, ask questions, and I jump in there all the time, okay? Um, but you can chat to people and get to know people, make friends. There's people who are, you know, have been doing this for a while and are established. There's people who are, will be exactly where you are, okay? Um, so it's good to kind of share with everyone else. Um, so um, one thing I will say is, okay, I will help you. Um, I said to you at the beginning that I don't just you know, sell the training on this. I actually do it myself. But when I am training people, I want you to succeed. I genuinely want you to succeed. There's no point me selling you a course that, you know, you're not going to do, you're not going to succeed with. Um, so I help you. I, I've shown you the support I give. But, to, you know, I, I mean, to put this into perspective, I've had a couple of people um, struggling at the moment. I've got people in, well, I say struggling. I've got somebody who has learning difficulties, okay? I hopped on today and helped him out to get him sorted out. I've got a couple of um, people in their 80s doing this and they've needed a bit more help. Now, I will help you. The only stipulation I make is as long as you're putting the effort in, I'll go uh, out of my way to um, help you, okay? I will go absolutely out of my way to help you provided you're putting the effort in and really trying to succeed, okay? Um, <clears throat> So what are you going to do now? Um, as I said, you can do nothing, which will be a real, real shame. Um, or you can take what you've learned and try and do it yourself. Um, but, you know, to find a lot of that information is, is not easy. But if you um, click on that link, you will be able to get all the training. You'll get all of that and you'll get the access to me. OK, when people sign up, um, I'll send you an email um, very quickly at the very latest the next day. Um, as I said, if you're doing print on demand, the first course is some of that is about general selling on Etsy. So the um, I'll tell you what to do if you're just doing print on demand so that you can just do the necessary bit to really, really get started. Um, but you can email me. You'll get my email address, et cetera. Um, just some things that other people have said. Um, this is Vicky. She said, Nigel is very knowledgeable and delivers the course with enthusiasm and humor. He clearly has a lot of experience. I thoroughly enjoyed the course. His friendly, caring nature shines through in what he does. He's one of the most genuine people I've met. He really wants to see his students achieve their goals. I'm buzzing with what I've learned. That was Vicky. Uh, Vicky's in the UK. Um, Pamela uh, is in the US. This is what she sent me in an email. I didn't even ask her for a testimonial or anything else. This is what she sent me in an email. 
Thank you so much for creating your excellent Selling on Etsy course. I love it. I've been finding it lots of fun. You're a goldmine of help. Uh, much appreciated. Your course is worth the price many times over. Um, now, bear in mind, as I put there, Pamela only bought the first course and she paid $599 for one course. OK, and she didn't get the shop evaluation either. Um, you know, and she's saying that that was worth the price many times over. Um, I don't think I could have written a better testimonial if I'd done it myself, which I didn't. <laughs> OK, that's literally what she sent me in an email. And I said, you know, can I use it? And she said, of course you can, Nigel. Um, so that's just a reminder of what you're going to get. Um, I'll hand you back to Alicia in a minute. But just a quick recap. Um, you're going to get the Etsy seller course plus the advanced print on demand course, uh, the 36 training videos, the downloadable PDFs. Um, you're going to get the email support, the call with me. Um, the full shop assessment, you're going to get the 43 links, a deal with my print on demand company if you want to use them. OK, you're going to get all of this, all of this amazing backup. OK, um, so that's exactly what you're going to get. Um, it's been great talking to you. I'm going to hand you back to Alicia now, as I said, because she got really, really excited about this. And I know she wants to say something else and she wants to do something even more, a little bit special for you. So um, Alicia, are you there? She's, I think she's hiding. <laughs> okay. Um, are you there, Alicia? Any more questions, pop them in there and I'll, I'll um, come back to it afterwards. Um, Nigel, Nigel, Nigel. Can everybody hear me? Just type yes in the chat if you can hear me. Hasn't this presentation been amazing. It has been so amazing. And as, as a student of Nigel's, I can say that Nigel, you are such a great teacher. It's so easy to understand. I have been trying to navigate this print on demand world for a really long time, but I've got it now. I've got it. And from, you know, being in your course, I really have such an understanding. Now I've got some bonuses for those who sign up today. I know a lot of you are have already signed up, so you're going to see the bonuses now. A few of you might be on the fence, but you won't be on the fence an anymore after you have seen these bonuses. You ready? All right. So here are the bonuses that we put together, and you know, after going through Nigel's course, I'm like, hey, you know what? There's a few things that I know our students specifically, because I know what training you guys have gone through, that kind of stuff that you would love to know about. So here we go with some of the bonuses. So first of all, why I love this business model is because you're selling something that doesn't exist until it's ordered. Like you don't have to have inventory. You know, it's something that, that you make a design and when somebody buys it, that's when it's actually created and sold. Lovely, lovely. You don't have to buy 2000 mugs, put it in your garage and ship it out from your house. So this is a great business model for a lot of you who, you know, want a smartphone business. <laughs> you know, you can manage this on your smartphone, on your tablet, on the go, and you don't have to create something in the sense of, you know, actually creating the mug from home or the t-shirt from home or the tote bag from home and shipping it out because you're using print on demand. So love, love, love the business model. So we've got some bonuses. Bonus number one, we have, you, you know, we love outsourcing. So Nigel's going to teach you how to create um, the images and graphics that will go on mugs, t-shirts, tote pads in his course. I know that because I've taken the course. But what we're also going to do is for those of you that love to outsource this type of thing, we put together the best mug designers on Fiverr. It's an Excel spreadsheet. Um, their rates start off at $5. And so if you want to hire someone else, we will uh, give you this Excel for those of you who are signing up right now so that you don't have to spend your time looking for great designers. Now, these designers all have amazing reviews we've gone through we've read the reviews it's an excel spreadsheet that you'll get do you guys like that one yes if you like it type one in the chat box for bonus one just type one 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 i i knew you guys would like this one okay let me keep moving bonus number two is i have created a three-step training on designing your own mug on canva 
So I've actually created two trainings on this. One was creating images for the front and back of a mug, and then one was a wraparound image. And then I also talk about selling personalized mugs or personalized anything. So I, I know personalization is such a big industry that I want you to step into it. So um, you'll see it when you go through it. Two trainings, they're both 10 minutes in length, easy to understand, and a whole lot of fun. Let me just say that they really are a lot of fun. So you're gonna enjoy that. And then you're gonna get an exclusive training on how to sell print on demand on Facebook Marketplace. I've made this training just for you guys. And I've actually gone to Facebook Marketplace and listed a product on there. I explain how to use Facebook Marketplace to um, you know, use it as a traffic source to get traffic, to sell more mugs, tote bags, t-shirts, personalized items, whatever you're doing. Why do I love Facebook Marketplace as a traffic source? Because Facebook has done such a great job in their data collection that Marketplace is so targeted to the person that's viewing it. So let me give you an example. What you see in Marketplace is different than what I see in Marketplace. So Raina is a dog lover and she looks online all the time for dog stuff and dog sweaters. You know, I'm just playing with you, Raina. But her feed is gonna have a whole lot of dog um, related items in it right so she's going to see a lot of dog stuff where i'm an entrepreneur i love that stuff so i'm going to see a lot of entrepreneur and hustle stuff and stuff that i've been searching for so imagine this you're creating a mug for cat moms and so facebook knows that because in the training i'm going to show you how to put the right keywords in and everything and it's going to put it in front of cat moms this could mean so many more sales for you in your etsy store it will be crazy or just in the print on demand business you know anyway and i and i look forward to seeing you guys crush it so all right i've been talking for over five minutes i'm going to turn it back over to nigel now but just recapping i know you guys are excited about this business I've gone through the course and, you know, for us to recommend something and for us to go through the course and give it a five star and invite Nigel to come on is a really big deal. So I put together some great bonuses for you guys. Bonus number one, the best designers on Fiverr. It's an Excel spreadsheet. You have to have this if you are going to outsource your designs. Bonus number two. It is actually two trainings on designing your own mug on Canva. It's me leading you through step-by-step. Step. You're gonna love it. And then bonus number three is an exclusive training. We've done training on Facebook Marketplace before and our students have walked away within that week making thousands of dollars on Marketplace. If you've been on any of those trainings, you've heard the testimonials. So I've taken that Marketplace knowledge turned it over into the print on demand, figured it out and recorded a training for you and you're gonna get that as well. So if you have not jumped in yet, you need to jump in right now, join this program. I promise you'll love it. If we get enough um, interest in it, I can even do a special masterclass for you guys on just implementing it because it's been, it's been a really amazing course. So if you're in, type I'm in in the chat box so the team can see and write your names down to make sure that you get all of the bonuses. Guys, jump in right now, really great opportunity. Nigel, I am turning it back over to you. Really great job, we've enjoyed everything. I'm turning it back over to you. So give me one minute to turn over the presenter controls. Thanks again so much for coming on and teaching this amazing session back to you lots of people signing up brandy's in lisa's in tash saying see you on the other side lots of people really looking forward to working with you um there's a few questions i've just got a time time to do a few more um any burning questions i haven't answered pop it in the chat but the ones i can see on here uh malik saying um what happens after 90 days well um you know the 90 day support uh don't tell anyone else, Malik, but it, as long as you're still working on it, I'll help you out. Don't worry about that. Okay, just don't tell anyone else. They're not, nobody else is listening, so, so it's all right. Charlotte's saying, um, how can she contact me? Go through support, Charlotte, just contact support, and if you've got any questions, I'll answer them afterward. 
Um, Frankie's saying, can you get into print on the print on demand services industry? Um, not too sure what you're uh, mean by that. If you mean, can you do, um, you know, um, products for certain um, industries, things like that? I guess you can. You, you know, there's there's no limit to it, really. Um, I know somebody, one of my, uh, who I was talking to um, a couple of weeks ago, and she's actually started producing um, printed posters for her local hospital, okay, and she's, she hasn't told me how much she's earning, but she said she's making a lot of money, you know, where this, um, you know, nowadays it's, you know, don't forget to wear your face mark, isn't it? So she's producing all these sorts of signs for them and making money out, so there's all sorts you can do. Sandra's saying she works full time. How will she train? Well, you can go on and do the video training whenever you want. How long it takes you to do it is entirely up to you. How much time you've got to work on it. I had one lady, you saw that testimonial I had from Georgina. Um, Georgina works full time, okay? And she had her shop set up in 10 days uh, with her first products in it. So it's all possible, it's just finding the time. And the thing is that um setting up that um setting up the shop you know you just need to get that right uh, and that's the the first bit which will take you a little bit of time but after that literally all you're doing is you're just sitting down and doing some design so like i said earlier on just sit down in the evening you know turn the telly off for half an hour or if you can work with the tv on just sit there and knock up a few designs you know you'll soon grow your shop and as you grow your number of products you'll grow the number of sales so you know i've got lots of students who do it full time um it's you know especially if you're just looking for a side income if you want to replace your nine to five then you know you you, you have to go for it a bit more um what else have we got tash is saying that she um set up a shop um, and she, without any of the professional or insider knowledge, and she's already made $7,000 in the first year, okay? So she's really looking forward to knowing how she really can do it and, and take it to that next level. Um, Felicia's saying, can she get more than one to more than one, one to one? That's a bit difficult to say, isn't it? Um, you know, talk to me about it. We'll see what we can do. Um, I do do, you know, extra sessions. There's usually a small charge, but um, I'll usually help you out along the way, so just talk to me nicely, okay? <laughs> um, and uh, I'm not, uh, I, I, I'm not, I'm not silly about these things, okay? Um, uh, what have we got here? If I can, uh, right, okay. If you have an existing store, can you um, use that existing store? Okay. Um, the best thing is to talk to me about that. Um, there are reasons for and against, depends what you're selling in your existing store. Um, you might want to use that store and use the feedback and things like that that you've got in it, or there might be very good reasons for setting up a new store. My initial reaction is probably start a new one, but keep that existing store, and then we'll have a look at it as we go along and see exactly what you know what's the best way. But I look, I'll, I'll have a look at it for you, so don't worry about that. Um, uh what we've got there kirsten saying uh um the seo is it possible yeah it's it's all possible the seo will make a massive difference you, you've got to have that right really um so uh oh, outsource the seo but oh sorry i didn't see all of that kirsten seriously you don't need to this is not the sort of seo that if you had to have a website you would yes you would need to get your seo done I wouldn't know how to do that. I wouldn't have a clue, okay? You really don't need to do that. If you follow the training, it's all in there. When I say SEO, it's all to do with um, how you, which boxes you tick, which which words you put in, where. Um, there's lots of different things. You've got to complete different sections um, and, and how and where you put your keywords. Honestly, it's dead simple. I'll help you. You really don't need to outsource it um you really really don't um okay uh i think i've got just about all the questions um thanks to everyone who's already in um really looking forward to working to, with you um you've signed up you'll you'll get that um link to set up your account and to um 
create your password, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you'll get uh, you'll get an email from me, okay? Um, you'll get an, an email you can contact me on, but you can contact me through the course hosting platform. Um, you know, um, so you know I'll, I'll be in touch with you very very quickly. Um, Charlotte's saying, cannot remember a better, more informative webinar on print on demand. Thank you very much. I try and give you a lot of value. I try and tell you um, exactly, you know, what you've got to do. Frankie's saying, how much money can you make weekly, monthly, yearly? How much do you want to make, Frankie? This It's entirely up to you. Um, as I said a couple of times, it's purely a numbers game, okay? There are people making insane amounts of money. There are people making enough money, you know, for meals out and holidays and things like that. It literally depends. You set it all up the way I teach you, okay? Do your SEO and everything the way I teach you, which I'll help you with all of that, okay? The only thing then which determines how much money you make is how many designs you put on. It's like you go into a shop. If you if you go down your main street and there's a shop there, um, which is 1,000 square feet and it's got 500 items and the one next to it is 2,000 square feet and it's got 1,000 items, the chances are that one with 1,000 items in it is going to sell a lot more than the one with 500. And you are in the situation where you haven't got to increase the size of your shop physically. It's not going to cost you anything to increase the size of your shop or you haven't got to buy a bigger shop. Okay, It's literally down to how many products you put in there. The more products you put in, the more you will make. Um, it literally is that. So there's not a figure I can give you. It's entirely up to you and how much how much you put into it. So um, I think we're pretty much there. I think I've got all the questions. Um, there's so much in there. I'm trying to flick through most of them, but I think we've got all of them. Um, if there's any final questions, pop them in there. But if not, I think we'll um, we'll we'll end it there. Um, really looking forward to working with a lot of you. Um, as I said, you've got this massive um, market in the US. You really have. Um, so, you know, it, it's all there. Um, and it is just using all these techniques, everything which I've developed over these, these years, you know, to, to really make this fly and, and to make some serious amounts of money. And I want to show you how to do it and I want to help you with it. Um, so. I think we're about there. There's, don't think there's any more questions in. I think we'll call it a day there. Um, thank you very much, everyone. Um, it's been really great. Uh, big thank you to Alicia for having me on. And thanks to all of you for coming on there and listening. And um, hopefully I've answered all your questions. Looking forward to, to speaking to a lot of you very soon. Um, and you'll get an email through really quickly. Um, and uh, as we go along, contact me whenever you want. And uh, I'm going to go and have something to eat and put the kettle on, I think. Um, thanks very much, everyone. Um, I'll just uh, hand it back to Alicia's team to call it an end. Yeah, lots of people saying they're in. Um, that's great. Uh, lots of thank yous. OK, brilliant. See you on the inside, Malik. Yeah, uh, thanks for the opportunity, Violet. Uh, Great. Um, excellent. OK, uh, Annie. Yeah, lovely. OK, thanks a lot, everyone. And uh, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, I'll be speaking to a lot of you very, very soon.